she asks, do you guys have any advice on shooting a group of five women with one flash and an umbrella? Can she do this with one flash or is she going to need to get a second flash? What do you say, Jeff? Do you think you can shoot a group of five with just one flash? Uh, that might be a little bit of a challenge on the far side. You, it's going to be hard to get even lighting across five people, I think. Uh, you have to try it and see. Maybe you can get a reflector up and, and make it so it's not too bad across the five people. But that it might be a bit of a stretch to try to do it with just one flash and an umbrella. Yeah, the issue here, of course, is when you have five different heads, if you have the light you know, off to the side of the camera, each person is going to be throwing shadows on the person next to them. And so I have done this with a small group, and it did work okay, but I had to bring the umbrella in very close to to the angle of the camera. And so you don't get that off-camera flash look to it, uh, but at least, you know, has a nice, bright, clean look to it. Um, and the best the best position would probably be right in the middle as uh, above them, like, um, yeah, like in above front the of camera. them just... Yeah, right. Not not like at 45 degrees or any, because then you're going to have shadows or you're going to have a hard time dealing with and uneven lighting. So yeah, if you can kind of get it right in the middle, pointing down from above them, you probably have a chance, but it's going to be, it's going to be a little hard. Yeah, I think now yeah, should I, she, yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Should she be using the 60 inch? Because that was in her question also. She oh, has yeah. a 43 inch and a 60 inch umbrella. So the bigger the umbrella, the bigger, the more spread of the light. Well, here's what I would say about that. I don't really think it's going to matter um, no. on the umbrella in this question because, like, picture the view from the person. So the size of the umbrella in a flash, the reason you want a bigger umbrella is softer lighting, which is what we need here. We need it to wrap around um, and fill in shadows. However, think about it from the perspective of the person, you know, who's 15 feet away from the camera. You know, we're talking about a minute difference at that point because the umbrella isn't going to be right up close to them when we'd see a big difference. The, um, we're talking about, you know, maybe maybe each person can see just a tiny bit more umbrella. It's really going to be about the same, honestly. Uh, so I, I don't really think that's going to matter because it's a group and the flash is going to be far away from the people anyway. And with just one flash, I don't know that you'd see one flash fill a 43-inch umbrella much differently than a 60-inch. Yes, that's a good point. So I, the flash, you know, some of the light is going to get to the ed edge of the 60-inch umbrella, right. but the vast majority is going to be toward the center. It just isn't that wide of where it's sending the light. And so the light on the edge is, is pretty light anyway, so it's, it's just not going to do a whole lot for you. So if you had like a triple a fr flash bracket there and three flashes, then maybe you'd see a bit more difference between a 60 and a 43. But with just one, I bet there's not a whole lot of difference. Yep, good question.